Hi everyone! Today I'll show you how to make these paper picture frames. I'm so surprised at their quality. They look and feel like you've spent quite a little bit of money on them, when in reality they don't cost anything. I just love working with paper and recycling it into pretty and exciting projects like this one. And this video was a request, so I hope you like it and let's get started! The materials you'll need are newspaper or a magazine, a piece of white printing paper, two photos, an envelope, scissors, pen, a barbecue skewer, scotch tape and glue and I'm gonna use tacky glue. For the first frame, fold a piece of paper in half. I'm using white printing paper, but you could use any color of paper and any size depending on the photo you want to frame. Select your photo and make sure it fits on the paper and place it in the middle with the pen placed marks at each corner of the photo. Make sure that as you do this, you keep in mind that the folded edge of the paper is facing away from you, so that when you put the paper up, it's going to stay up and it should look like a pyramid. Now make marks maybe one fourth of an inch away from the original marks and connect the lines. Take a small scissors and cut along the lines on both sides. You can see now where the photo is going to go. Take a page of the newspaper or magazine you chose to use and measure and cut pieces that are the same length as the white piece of paper. Now roll the paper as tightly as possible around a pen or a pencil or in my case a barbecue skewer. I just like the size of it. I was aiming for something smaller than a pen. When you're done rolling, secure with clear tape. Now we're going to do the same, but uh, we're going to measure and cut pieces of newspaper or magazine that are the same width of the photo you chose to frame and then repeat the same steps with the rolling as before. Keep rolling paper until you've made enough rolls to cover the whole piece of paper. Now for my frame I made 24 long rolls and 10 short rolls. It's time to glue all the rows starting with the back of the frame. Apply a straight line of glue horizontally and place a row on top and continue moving up and lining the rows one after the other. For the front of the frame, it's the same, except glue just two rows at the top and two rows at the bottom. And the rest of the small rows line up vertically outside the cutouts we made for the picture.
As you can see, the frame bends a little at the back so it's not going to stay up properly and to fix that, glue two rolls on each side of the paper going vertically on the inside like shown and then cut out the excess. <laughs> This is the finished frame and it's very sturdy, great quality and so artistic and modern looking. I love it so much. For the second frame it's absolutely the same concept except we're using just a regular mailing envelope instead of a piece of paper for the base of the frame. I've already measured the size of my photo and I'm going to cut through the vertical lines I've made. Make sure you only cut through the front of the envelope. I've rolled my newspaper pieces and I'm ready to glue them. The flap of the envelope is going to be the stance of the frame and I'm going to glue three rolls on the inside of that flap. I'm going to glue two rolls on the top and two rolls on the bottom horizontally on the front of the envelope. Now glue the shorter rows vertically on the outside of the cutouts we've created. What's left to do is place the photos inside the frames and you have new beautiful picture frames that are amazing amazing quality and very inexpensive. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up and share with your friends and family. Let me know if you're going to make these frames and feel free to send me photos and thank you so much for watching.